Hey, what's going on, people? Jack Reeve, Talk Nero City here, back for another video. Day four of this daily videos over the World Cup period. And the World Cup has begun, and the first game is over. I've just finished watching it. It was Russia against Saudi Arabia, possibly the worst opening game of a World Cup ever. But it was the highest scoring game since, I think, 1930. Um, it was Russia 5, Saudi Arabia 0. Uh, let's just put this into a little bit of perspective. Russia are the worst ranked side in the tournament. That is how bad Saudi Arabia were. They were dreadful. Defensively, they were all over the shop. We are talking Alex Neal, Norwich City side, defensively woeful. It was poor. Um, it was thoroughly entertaining, though. Anyway, very little has happened in regards to Norwich City. Um, Max Ahrens has signed a professional contract until 2021. Could he be the right back next season? We've seen Jamal Lewis uh, really progress as left back. Could Pinto be off? Could it be a cuss-cutting exercise by putting Max Ahrens in at right back? He's certainly impressed, impressed at youth level. I've also had a haircut. That's a good thing. Um, anyway, I went to you guys on Twitter and asked for some questions because there's not really too much going on with Norwich City uh, and we need to keep this um, daily streak going. Um, Ian Gabelli says, thoughts on Norwich, the pedestrianisation of Norwich City Centre? It, I like it. I don't live in Norwich, but I like it because I always walk around on my lunchtime um, and it makes that a lot easier. In terms of Yarmouth, don't come to Yarmouth at the weekend. It is going to be utter chaos. Uh, the start of the air show, 200,000 people in the, in the town. The, the town shuts down when there's, you know, a, a, a sunny day. So 200,000 people, it could be chaotic. Um, Christian Scales asks, what is the lowest acceptable finish for Norwich City next season? I think 10th. I think we need to see improvement and I think we need to see a challenge for the top six. If that doesn't happen, then questions maybe do need to be asked of Stuart Webber. And Daniel Farker, um, Aidan Brown, Yannick and transfers. He wants me to talk about, um, I think Yannick Vilchkit will come back to Norwich City. If there's, if Cardiff want him, which I don't think they will, then possibly we might be looking to sell him. He's probably on a decent wedge, not too much money. Uh, and we could probably recoup a little bit of money from him. But now that Murphy's gone, it frees up a space down the wing. As you guys know, I do like Yannick Vilchkit. I think he's direct. I don't think people have given him a chance at all. Um, and I don't think the manager's given him a chance either. So I would keep Yannick Vilchka here and I'd give him a chance. It saves having to go out and signing another winger. We need pace. We need directness. Yannick Vilchka bring that, brings that um, in, in oodles. His final ball is admittedly sketchy at the best of times. Um, yeah, I'd bring him back. There's bigger bigger priorities at the moment in terms of the transfer market. Um, Pingu says, please talk about Kenny McLean. Now, this is a really interesting one, actually. Um, I, I keep forgetting that we've signed Kenny McLean. However, I shouldn't because the reports from Scotland are he is a very, very good player. Um, I've got a, a mate at work who's a, who's a keen follower of Scottish football. Poor guy. Um, and he really, really rates Kenny McLean. And, and it, it brings in a slightly different player. It brings in possibly... A replacement to James Madison? I don't know. Of course, we haven't sold Madison yet, but Everton and Leicester, a bit of a bidding war going on there. I think we'll probably get £25 million for him. Um, so it brings in a replacement. And he is, he is actually apparently really quite good. So I'm looking forward to seeing Kenny McLean, Pingu. I really am. Um, Frankie Weaver, who would you get rid of and who would you bring in? In terms of bringing in, it's not even worth me... Um, even, even speculating on that because it, it's evident that we're going to go in the foreign markets and I don't follow the second division of Germany enough to be able to tell you the good players there. I'm sure Stuart Webber does. Uh, in terms of who'd I'd, who I'd get rid of, I'd be looking to offload Nelson. Um, interestingly and probably controversially, I'd be looking to offload Pinto. Um, I think we could probably bring in a, a better right back on less money get a bit of money for him while he's still in contract. Um, I don't think I'd be looking to, to offload too many players. I, th I think the, the, the bulk of the squad we had last season was fairly good. We were just missing a striker. However, you look at Nelson, if you get him in the right frame of mind and get him playing in the right system, he's got goals in him. We know he's got goals in him. It's, he's just... I don't think he's, he's the right fit for Daniel Farker. I don't think he's the right fit for Norwich City particularly. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, that's all of the questions for today. 
So yeah, four days down, about a month to go. Um, there's bound to be loads of transfers coming up over the next month or so. Of course, we've got the World Cup as well. I've got an accumulator on each day on fans bet if you want to bet um, go over there they've got loads and loads of specials England specials top goal scorer specials all of the specials it's very special is fans bet head over there links in the description uh, you deposit £10 you get £10 free lovely old job uh, thank you very much for watching if you have any questions I might do some more of these then leave them in the comments section below and I'll get round to it this is the hotel room it's quite nice we've got ITV News on of course um, and a little bed area the view isn't great um, but we don't need the view we've got terrible art instead see you later